Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Starkey Formstead. To begin with, Killer the Cat is doing amazing. You would never know she was bitten. Thank you, God. So she's up moving around doing her Killer the Cat stuff. Moving on, a lot of people are back to, well, they don't want tourists, why are you going? I never went to be a tourist, went to be an active tourist. I went to be basically, you guys, what you would call an independent reporter. How did we find out the kids had not been kidnapped? Because I went to Maui. How did we find out that they were really not getting help from Oprah and The Rock? Because I went to Maui. I was able to ask people those questions and record their responses for you. We're going back to Maui to really help the school that did not wait for the Department of Education to get themselves back on their feet and start educating these kids and giving them a sense of normalcy. We're going back to learn about regenerative agriculture. I've already put phone calls in. I'm setting up interviews and work days, actual physical work days to work with these different groups and talk with them. I'm sorry, my dogs are playing, they get a little crazy. Um, my thing is this, and I will always tell everybody this, if you don't wanna send money, don't send money. But don't get on the channel and start this, what you think we need to do. We have a great group of subscribers on this channel. We're like a family. We can spot the trolls, the naysayers, and the haters right off the bat. And people are gonna flag you and they're gonna let me know who you are. And we're just gonna block you. And we don't wanna do that because we'd like for you to row in our boat, row in Maui's boat. If we don't put people there who are gonna record what is going on, you're gonna to continue to sit at home never knowing exactly what happened on Maui. Why is that? Mainstream media is not gonna tell you. They've never have and they never will. We need to know what is Governor Green doing? We need to know why people are being kicked out of their Airbnbs, out of their hotels, and where are they going? Where are they gonna stay with their families now that they have no place to stay? We can find that out. We're not gonna find that out sitting at home. My friends in Maui are putting together people for me to talk to, places for me to go. Now that I've already been, I can go on a shorter trip with more money and take care of things. Ooh, he just bumped me in the back of the leg with that. So I hope this helps clarify for everybody. I'm not going there to be a tourist. And if you didn't see our first videos made from Maui, I would expect that you go watch them. We were very conscientious, very loving, we gave money to everybody without shoving a camera in their face. So God bless you. Thank you so much for rowing in our boat, rowing in Maui's boat. I have to harvest. I've got less than 24 hours and we're rolling out to Ruston to do this big talk for LSU Ag Center. So we are who we say we are. I mean, really, we're on podcasts. We do the things that we say we do. So I hope that that helps you feel from the Holy Spirit to give for this trip because it's much needed, you guys mortgages, deductibles, all those things are not getting paid. We, you and I can make a difference. We don't need nonprofits. We don't need the government. We, the people need to stand up and help each other because there's gonna be a day that's gonna come to a town, your town. And maybe I'll be at your town helping your people. And maybe you'll be that person that was like, God, maybe I shouldn't have spoke out against her. Maybe I should have helped her when she wanted to help Maui. I'll still help you, but I'm just saying, think about that really hard before you start judging like is the knee-jerk habit of so many americans because everything we look at is fake nowadays well welcome to starkey farmstead where we keep it real